All right, so it's been a while. Um, I've just been AFKing this for about a week. I finally got 85, so I can now smith a rune. I can make my rune hatchet if I wanted to, but uh, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Um, I've just had no really incentive or motivation to do silver yet. I'll get to it eventually. I've just been kind of occupied with other stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, I have about 660k more iron ore, so I can do this for a while longer. Uh, doesn't matter that much. I'll probably, uh, I have my Christmas break in like a few weeks. That's probably when I'll start the mining. So I'll probably just get this to like 95 or something. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, let's go. Closing in on another level. Oh, there it is. Um, 86 smithing. Let's keep going. Economic rune hatchets. All right, so uh, since this uh, Christmas event came out, I've been getting uh, basically as much sense as I could. I could have got a lot more, but uh, basically you can get one every day, and I've been doing that. So I've been able to get some lots of uh, dungeoneering experience, and I'm one lamp away from 45 engineering. And with that, I can go get to the rune ore in uh, the mining guild. So we're gonna go do that now. Uh, let's just use the lamp and get 45. Um, and there we go. Awesome. Uh, I thought this was going to take a lot longer and a lot more work than it actually took because uh, I thought I was, I was supposed to, or I thought I was going to have to solo it all in Dungeoneering and take like a whole week non stop. But uh, <laughs> this took like no effort at all. And uh, we'll see how long this event thing goes on for. I can keep getting lamps. So I'm going to, because I need to get this as high as. Okay, so we're here. And let's go into here. Got 4k experience. Uh, there's no rune ore here, so I'm just gonna keep popping around until I find some. I'm just gonna mine three. That's all I only, I only need one, because uh, I'm just gonna get a, a rune hatchet. Uh, that's all I really need. Um, don't know what else I would want besides that. Um, let's see. Go to rune or uh, rune. And just rune hatchet there. Uh, yeah, I won't need anything else besides that. Uh, so I'll only mine three for now. I might do this later for money. Um, we'll see if I even need it. But yeah, I'm just gonna get three hatchets or like another pickaxe, another hatchet, I guess, for a placeholder. But I won't really actually. That's all I need. I don't need it. I don't need three. Screw that. So I'm just going to mine the coal now and then make the bars. And uh, we'll have our rune hatchet that took way too long to get. Okay, so we got our ore and shit and our furnace. Let's make this. There we go. Oh, not a rune sword. Do not want a rune sword. That'd suck. Rune hatchet. And there we go. Awesome. Now I can woodcut uh, efficiently. I'll just add that to my tool belt and bank the other one. Let's go! <sighs> okay, so uh, I've been doing some skills actually. I uh, did a, about an hour or so of mining today and I've uh, just been smithing some of the ore that I'd mined and crafting it and I'm just gonna get a level here, uh, 90 mining. So that's pretty awesome. It's like 10k experience an hour. Not even that much, it's less than that. Uh, I've been spending for... It's about 9k an hour, so it's not too bad, but yeah. I'm gonna keep going on this. Alright, so I'm just finishing off a like, crafting level here, and uh, I'm just gonna... I made a decision. I'm just going to uh, start woodcutting now. Oh, because I need to do crafting, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna start woodcutting after I finish up these tiaras. I'm gonna make... I have about 3,000 ore. I'm just gonna make the tiaras, sell them buy some runes to fill up my woodcutting urns, and I'll just start woodcutting now. Uh, it's just because I haven't been having like any motivation to do the mining, um, and I think I should just change it up a bit, uh, just to get myself back into skilling, just to get more progress on this account because it's going really, really slow. Um, so yeah, I have about 2,000 more silver ore I'm going to make into tiras, and then I'll be starting woodcutting. Not exactly how I planned, but uh, I guess I'll make my account uh, start to look a bit better. 
All right, so I just finished off those uh, tiers I was gonna do. I'm gonna sell them to the store just to get some money. I kind of wanted to keep all my tiers until I get 230k, but uh, 30 each. Sell all. 108k. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's good. That'll give me probably enough runes for all my urns. Um, let's go to Vera, get some earth runes for my wood cutting urns. Okay, so uh, this is my last urn before 41 wood cutting. Bringing out that rune hatchet finally. You can see that in action. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Anyways. I'm gonna keep doing this. I don't know how long I'm gonna go for. Might use up all my urns, which is like 600 at the moment. Uh, that should get me around 80 or so. Uh, probably just go until I get bored. <laughs> this is actually a uh, pretty fast experience. Uh, obviously, I'll get fire making more than I will get wood we'll cutting, but uh, I'll just stop fire making after I get 99. That's basically how simple it is. But yeah, this rune hatchet took me forever to get. I had to get 85 mining. <coughs> 85 mining and 85 smithing plus the 45 dunge to get to the resource place in the mining guild. I could have got it in the wildy, of course, but I just didn't want to risk dying. So I guess, I don't know if I'm the first hardcore free to play iron together to get a rune hatchet. Um, I kind of took a two month break, so I'm, I don't know how high I'm up there like in ranks. I'm sure tons of people are past me, but uh, anyways, I'm trying to be more active, and uh, let's just get this grind going. Okay, so that's another 10 levels done. I can now uh, cut willows faster, so that's great. Uh, it's going alright so far. Let's keep going. Alright, so I just finished off a uh, pretty big level. I've been doing this for the past two days or so. Not straight, I've been taking breaks and so on, uh, but it's going alright. I got semi wood cutting, so that's pretty great. Um, can't really do anything. Catagon hatchet, nice. Uh, I'll just bank. I decided to start banking the logs um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, there are downsides, like it's a lot slower uh, than what I was doing before in last clip. Uh, but I feel like banking the logs will be a lot easier for me. Uh, just I so I don't have to have complete motivation to do it. And also, uh, it's a bit more entertaining uh, for you guys because you can see the actual progress of my logs rather than me just being at the um, the dungeon place every time, just not really banking anything and just getting levels and that's it. But here you can see all the logs I've cut. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I've also decided to not completely give up on my mining. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit a day, just so by the time I max everything else out, I'll have enough ore to get the crafting. So I'm just going to do this really slowly, I guess, for now. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so far enjoying the woodcutting. Alright, so uh, I just missed a level, but I just got 75, so now I can cut magic trees. So I'll uh, be right back in a membership. Uh, but actually, uh, I just finished buying all the runes I uh, needed for the urns. I'm not gonna make them all yet, uh, just because I can get dailies for crafting, um, and, uh, which is makes 70 crafting urns, uh, I mean woodcutting urns, so if I just do that really quick, I just uh, like, easy 30k, and if I make them all now, then I can't really do the... Well, I can do the daily, but it'll, I'll have to make the urns myself and just be a waste of time. Uh, I just need a, I just need about 900 more water urns and finish all my urns. Uh, but yeah, at 11,000 willow logs so far, so going pretty good. Well, like usual, I missed the level. I was just hopping around worlds. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. And I got a uh, 86 mining. So that's my first mining level in like a few months. Uh, basically, just doing 40k experience a day. So I should get. Uh, the next mining level in about, about 10 days. Sounds about right. But uh, hopping with this friends chat, uh, or like you can hop off people in clan chats and friends chats now. Uh, so it's a lot easier to do this before I had to find people that 
wanted to add me or my friends that were on different worlds. Uh, but now you can just use people in the clan chat. So I'm just in this TFS, which is a free to play clan. Uh, I usually have a lot more people than my clan, uh, so I just use those people to hop off of. Um, you can also quick hop worlds just by in the options menu, but I f it does take a waste a few seconds because uh, you can't mine mine with this thing open. If you have this uh, interface open, then you stop mining. Um, so that's why I just use the clan chat instead. But yeah, a couple of nice updates that really help this. Uh, but yeah, so I have about 300 more or to go today, and I'm going to go back to woodcutting. Um, yeah, next clip you'll probably see me getting 80 woodcutting, but we'll see. So I'm uh, actually recording a level this time. Uh, any second now I'll be getting a 75 crafting, uh, like right now. I decided to craft some tiers some more, just because I needed a bit more money uh, for water runes for my fishing runes and also for feathers because once I hit 80 or I'm probably going to start fishing soon probably around 80 or 85 wood cutting so I want to have an, all my urns done and uh, have enough feathers to get to like 80 or so um, so I have like 1000 more tiers to make and then I'll sell them I should have like 150k that should give me uh, quite a bit of feathers um, so yeah I won't be getting 76 crafting for a while I don't have enough tiers I'll be getting like another maybe 60k experience then I'll be done <clears throat> but yeah let's see how it goes okay uh, so I think I'm gonna stop wool cutting for now I just got to 80 um, so um, yeah it's going pretty well so far I still do to my mining today but uh, right now I'm probably going to uh, finish up these urns or fill, fill all these urns and uh, that's kind of the reason I made the urns first just so I can fill these up because this is an easy 4000 experience it'll get me right to 20 basically um, so I don't have to do those early slow levels I can just go straight to trout so that's pretty like that's the advantage of doing the urns first uh, same with cooking um, I still have to decide what I want to do while fishing uh, I might bank everything uh, just kinda like wool cutting it's gonna waste a bit of time but it's gonna be more entertaining so you can see the progress better or I might just fish and then cook them at the same time, uh, we'll see how like slow banking is. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be moving on to my next skill. So this is pretty exciting, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the episode. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.